What's good, Josh? Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 biggest wrestling secrets exposed on camera by none other than Wrestling Flashback. Link to the original video will be down below. If you haven't already subscribed to Wrestling Flashback, go ahead, give them a subscription, man. Uh, I like these type of videos where you find out the little ins and outs and what goes on in a wrestling show or what goes on during a wrestling match. These videos are always pretty cool to me how they are able to do things uh, uh, live on, on television, sometimes without uh, the fans even realizing what's happening. So we're going to check this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Let's get right into this one. one two, Is this on? on? Nowadays, much of professional wrestling secrets are already out of the bag. That being said, it's still interesting to get a peek behind the curtain from a fan's perspective. Today, we're focusing on secrets and out-of-character moments that viewers actually got to see for themselves on TV and pay-per-view as we look at 10 wrestling secrets caught on camera. <laughs> Number one, a sign that a wrestler will kick out. A good way to tell if a wrestler will kick out of a pin is by watching their eyes. Yeah. If the wrestler is looking at the referee, that means they're watching the count, so they can kick out just mm, before three. That makes sense. Eye contact with the ref during a cover can also be a way for the wrestler to signal to the official that it's not time for the finish. It's a pet peeve of numerous legends, including Stone Cold Steve Austin, who believes wrestlers should be able to get a feel for how the ref counts without having to look at them, mm. although Austin has been caught looking at the referee himself in the past. Many wrestlers, such as Steve, generally prefer to keep their eyes closed during a cover. That you know what? And I, I, I kind of I kind of feel where Stone Cold is coming from because if you look, as you've seen in these clips, like, their eyes are wide open, so you kind of can tell, well, yeah, they're probably going to kick out because they're still aware of what's going on around them. But if they have their eyes closed and they got a feel for the count and knowing when to time it or whatnot, uh, it, it makes it that much more believable on camera and to the people that's watching, like, damn, he was able to kick out at the last second. He was able to hear it at the last second or whatnot. It, it gives it had that little bit of effect to it, like, damn, he was... He looked like he was knocked out and then his body just acting off of instinct. Like it, it, it comes off that way. So I do agree with Stone Cold to that point. Like it, it, it makes it better if the, the wrestler's eyes is closed and they kind of just get a feel for the count or they'll simply just look straight ahead since staring at the referee can be a telltale sign that the wrestler being pinned is about to kick out. Yeah. Oh, shoulders down. Jericho Michael Cole was going crazy. <laughs> In order to bleed during a match, wrestlers will use Classic. a razor blade that's either given to them by the referee or has been hidden somewhere in their ring gear. Yep. Hell, this is akin to felonious assault here. Uh -huh. What's they're doing? What is the camera will typically cut away from the wrestler uh -huh. following the spot that's meant to make them bleed. This is something the agent of the match should be able to communicate to the truck so that they know not to shoot the wrestler cutting themselves. It is gouging at the head, first blood. <laughs> the problem is, and we've seen it a lot, of, especially in AEW, they're, they're not good at cutting away. That's the only problem. It looks obvious because the cameras be looking right at them belating. Just cut away, cut to another shot, cut to a replay so you don't see it. So the, the fans at home don't really see it. That's all I'm saying. Wrapped up bleeding, and it's not over yet. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. This, right. this could get ugly in a hurry. Yeah, he was blading right there. However, the handover of the blade it. and the act of blading itself has been picked up by cameras on plenty of occasions. Yeah, it has, unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, it has, and it's not just an AEW thing. WWE has been caught doing it. WCW has been caught doing it. It happens. It's just, it's all about timing. Being able to time when someone gets hit with a devastating move that would make them bleed, and cutting out to another shot or a replay or something, so that way the wrestler can do the blade job and come back, and now we got color. He freed himself from that. Oh! Oh, that looks that look bro that that clip always look bad they cut right to moxie just blading i'm like what are you doing oh, fuck. Oh, that right hand. 
war. Man. This has not even resembled a, a wrestling match. But both are down no. there. <laughs> and again oh. using the cage. Skip Punk expected to be at his side. Ooh. And all the hard right hand. And then he had the blade in his hand. That was a good way to hide it. Man, oh man. I don't know that these two will ever be the same again. Number three, mouth capsules. Any substances that come from a wrestler's mm -hmm. mouth, be it blood or poison mist, is typically prompted by a capsule or tablet. Yeah, we I, I remember seeing the foam, foam capsule. Usually the referee <laughs> will hand this to the wrestler who will then chew on the capsule until the substance inside is ready to be released. <laughs> <laughs> he starts spitting up blood on the wall <laughs> just randomly. Standing to be in WrestleMania. The Samoan pride. The great Samoan dynasty. Like a gut wrench. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Hogan's bleeding from the mouth of the turtle. It's coming right out. The giant. Oh, yeah. This one was brutal, bro. No, no. Oh, my God. No. I legit thought I thought Rey Mysterio was getting murdered on live television. I was like, oh, okay. That was probably the only one of the only cool moments <laughs> the great Kali has ever had is squishing Rey Mysterio's head. It's begging Pac off. Not again, not on the chair again. <laughs> To create poison mist, wrestlers would that was a crazy use a spot too. It's just the fans didn't coloring. really care. From there, they <laughs> chew on it and spit it out to create the illusion that they've just blinded or paralyzed their opponent with the mist. I know what you're saying, Dio. After that hell in the cell match, right, that, that, yeah, we got oh, oh, the great mist. Oh, 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 and that was our table. Not the last one. Oh, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> the great mist will allow Kyrie to make the tag. Nick oh. with a close line. Yep, you know Oscar stayed with the Number green four, mist. Gimmicked weapons. In mm -hmm. order to execute specific spots safely, certain weapons must be gimmicked ahead of time to prevent injuries. For example, the ladders that are used are wooden as opposed to steel. This mm -hmm. way, wrestlers can go through them and use the ladders in a safer manner compared yep. to if they were legitimately made from steel. Oh my God! Jesus. Even though it's still wood, it still hurts. <laughs> Hey, whether it's steel or wood, obviously it's you know much safer for them to be on wood la wooden ladders that are painted like steel, but it still hurts regardless. <laughs> like with the ladder, the steel steps are hollow and more lightweight. This way, they're not as heavy as they would appear given their size. This mm -hmm. makes them less dangerous and much safer to use as a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> They're also not steel, as the name would suggest, as the steps are actually made from aluminium. Oh, that makes sense. The same goes for most trash cans that are typically used in wrestling. Don't do this! Don't do it! Oh. Tables, kendo sticks, and guitars are made from a thin wood, allowing them to break easily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the likes of lead pipes, barbed wire, and sledgehammer heads are made from rubber whenever they're gimmicked. <laughs> Number five, botches on tape shows edited out of the aired broadcast. Back when SmackDown used to be taped, the WWE made sure to edit out any botches prior to the show airing. <laughs> if you actually think that I was just the right guy, I had a match with a rock a couple of weeks ago. However, over the years, <laughs> there's been some infamous botches that fans have managed to see. We saw Shane in the big show. What the hell? Usually, viewers of SmackDown or other tape shows wouldn't even notice if a botch had ever occurred thanks to the WWE's clever camera tricks. Oh, wow. John Cena gonna start things off against Tyson Kidd. Although wow. there have been some suspect editing. I mean, that's, that's, and once again, it's the power of editing, especially if they're able to catch something ahead of time and be able to cut it off or move the camera away so you don't know what's going on. People at the fans at home be like, what the hell's going on? Or they won't even realize anything happened. Team jobs over the years. I can't get it open though. It seems like an eternity. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Holy. He can't do that. Strongest man in the world, but he can't get in the cage. Mm. 
<laughs> oh. Number six, piped in crowd noise. Oh. Smackdown was also infamous for piping in fake crowd noise by using the notorious hairdryer pop. And I knew I had to bring the pain. You bet your ass I would. WWE Champion! Haven't defeated, and that's The Undertaker. Batista making history. As Vito celebrates his victory, Bobby Lashley. <laughs> the pipe being the world heavyweight champion. <laughs> the WWE has shamelessly used the sound and similar ones for yep. years. Doing so even when it's clear the fans in attendance aren't reacting. In the main event of WrestleMania. Right, look at the group of just people right there. No one is saying, nobody is moving their mouth to cheer. We see it frequently. We do see it frequently on WWE television. They'll pipe in uh, cheers. They'll pipe in booze. It's, eh. I get why they're doing it because they're, they're trying to sell the effect of, you know, the crowd's interaction. But at the same time, all you have to do is just look with your eyes and you see no one is saying a damn thing. These two actually oh, brothers in law. Winning the six pack challenge will enter last in the war. DiBiase, DiBiase, looking for a little retribution here. You lose your title. <laughs> it's the same What's noise. Is that too. The company has also resorted to dubbing in fake sound during live broadcasts. What's up, Randy? First of all, where the hell is Whoa. That was super blatant. Listen to the crowd noise. And then when they start talking, it just cuts off. What's up, Randy? First of all, where the hell is That's awful, bro. That's, that's blatantly bad. Holy. Been second of all. At any time is always with me. And Rebecca's. Whoa. Whoa. These. <laughs> Damn, these are awful. Women's champion. I'm going to be a rematch next week with Finn Bell. Yeah, that's all I need. In modern times, the WWE continues to pipe in crowd noise to the point where it's even been brought up on television. I would so much rather be bald than have them pipe in fake crowd noise for my matches because nobody cares. Yeah. Number seven, stuntmen and dummies. While wrestling is known for its elaborate stunts, it's almost always the wrestlers that take the risk and perform the stunts themselves. Mm -hmm. But there have been a handful of occasions where stuntmen and dummies have been used for some of the more dangerous spots that are done outside the ring. Oh yep. my God. What do you want? I want a match with Triple H at WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a dummy would have to be subbed in for that. Of course, obviously. No! no! Undertaker! No! What the hell is he doing? What? The Superman! Oh my god! Hey, look at that man! <laughs> what fate has in store for this Sunday at No Mercy. Exactly what oh, the dummy showing live. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and they just had audio of JR screaming. There's no way JR would. <laughs> Let himself sit there and get cooked. <laughs> Okay. Number eight, crash pads and padding. Mm -hmm. Companies will also use crash pads and other form of padding to protect their wrestlers. These are most commonly used for stunts where the wrestler is required to jump or fall from a great height. Yep. That is crazy, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do this. And most of these clips involve Shane. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Kurt Angle damn near being murdered. <laughs> and the way his body was positioned. I ain't going to lie to you. That, I always found that funny, bro. You can say I messed up, but it's just... Don't do this, big show. 
This thing was just broken. <laughs> During the pandemic era, wrestlers were able to perform some unique spots that wouldn't have otherwise mm -hmm. been possible with fans in attendance. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot the money in the bank was at the headquarters on top of the building. We supposed to believe this nigga threw him over the top of the building to their death. Uh oh! I fun fact: I never watch. I didn't watch this pay per view. I don't. I, I didn't watch Money in the Bank <laughs> during the pandemic era, but I did see the clips. <laughs> oh, but apparently, this thing is being <laughs> like you would think they were legitimately killed. Attendance. Ah! To execute spots such as these, crash pads were positioned off camera for the wrestlers mm -hmm. to land on. Forty highlight reel here to oh, oh my god! Oh my god! A whole lot of seconds. Yep. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. And then they remove oh the pad. Number nine, wrestlers getting legit <laughs> angry. For our last two entries, we'll look at moments where wrestlers' real life emotions take over. It's important for wrestlers to stay in character, not let the occasion get the better of them. But sometimes wrestlers just can't help but show their real life frustration. You can tell they're pissed off either by their body language or through the face they make. Wait a minute, wait, wait. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, damn. I think the brain is left. Don't want to get overconfident because something like that could happen. A uh, back suplex. Now the cover. Hold on, wait. What was that one again? Hold on. What the fuck are you doing? Easy. I think the brain is left. Don't want to get overconfident because something like oh, that could yeah. happen. A back suplex. Now the cover. Hook to the leg. Kick out by Andrade. Wait a minute. He's match, and as soon as Dawkins comes in. Yeah, I remember that one like it. Yeah, it wasn't the ending was botched and he was definitely upset about it. The rounds and certainly uh, not excluding the like, like the fans want us to the WrestleMania where I hit Hornswoggle oh, with the trash can. Oh. Goldust wrestling Fontango to the ground. Goldust victorious here. Yep. On Monday night. Raw. Visibly pissed. Right now, look at that. Oh, he's not one. playing games. Two. Got him. Oh, shit. But if you're Shawn mm -hmm. Michaels, you take out your aggression on inanimate objects yep. and other people. Oh. Damn. Hold on, I gotta go to that Jeff one, because I think Jeff was, like, drunk at the time. Yeah, I think Jeff was, like, under the influence of it. It's gonna be a Stinger Splash Scorpion Death Drop. Yeah, I think he was, like under the influence at the time, so they had to just kind of get the match over with. Right now, look at that. Oh, he's not playing games. He's Got him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I agree. But if you're Shawn Michaels, you take out your aggression on inanimate objects and yeah. other people. Not uh, some of uh, Jeff's best moments. Obviously <laughs> flaring. <laughs> Shawn Michaels was, yeah, he was different back then, boy. He didn't care. Number 10, wrestlers getting nervous. In the same way you can tell when a wrestler is angry, the same can be said for when a wrestler is nervous. It can be hard to keep the game face on for a younger wrestler when performing on such a big stage, be it mm -hmm. in the ring or on the mic. And the power is what we seek. And it's within all of us. And we just have to unleash it. <laughs> With yeah. people Rocky Mountain, Smoky Mountain Wrestling, where a lot of great tag teams are. So Chris and I are hoping to make our mark in a tag team situation. <laughs> yeah, young. Wreck. We did it like maybe 10, 11 times. And I remember Vince McMahon saying, you know, I'm buying the Guerreros, I'm buying the Bastions, but I'm not buying this detective. I'm Detective Russell from the New Jersey State Police Department. Hey. Can I have a moment of your time in private? Oh, I didn't even nine, realize four, that six. was Darren Young. I didn't even know that. That's crazy. And vote for your favorite. The nervous means we've seen this clip before. 
So I looked on my wrist. I was sweating so much that it erased off my wrist. I went over to Vince. I, go, I apologize. I will make sure it won't happen again. He goes, I know it won't happen again. I had mm -hmm. those nerves. He could see in my eyes that maybe I wasn't as confident in myself as uh, I needed to be. I could tell that I was beyond nervous because I'm mouthing not real things. Right. Saying I'm doing what I call wrestler talk. You're moving your mouth. Uh -huh. yeah, got you. And that brings mm -hmm. us to the end of this video. <laughs> as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to this give it a dope. like. This is great, man. This is so dope. I don't know what I just said. This was GOAT. <laughs> now, this is a GOAT video. I like this, man. Shout out to Wrestling Flashback. Y'all go ahead, give them a subscription. I already like the video because uh, they, they be dropping some dope content, dope wrestling related content, some uh, tidbits that you may not have known about. But comment down below. Let me know if there's, are there any other wrestling secrets you guys may have, you know, heard about or known about. And when did you find out some of these wrestling secrets? But I appreciate all love and support. Bro, 250K, and I'm still going to be the YouTube Wrestling Champ of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you on the next one. Peace.